Hey, what's going on you guys? It's your man James aka JP back again with another jersey restoration video I picked up this uh, jersey this uh, official Miami Heat LeBron jersey from uh, Goodwill for four dollars super excited to find it um, Really not the biggest LeBron fan, but it's a heat jersey It's just a jersey in general and pretty clean condition overall. Uh, so we'll take a, a quick look here. So really um, Let's adjust the camera here. Really the only flaws are in this red uh, section right here uh, let's see how good it's going to come out on camera. The red is faded and then also around like the edges you can see like the white threading kind of coming through um, and the white is a little like washed out but it's white so that's not that big of a deal and if we go to the back flip this around that's where you really can see the uh, the flaws with it <clears throat> right here. So we take a look right there so you can see a lot of the fadedness going on um, and you know, this is pretty clean up here. It's white so that can't really get that messed up and the rest of the jersey is clean Everything's nice. I washed it and everything like that. Uh, so what we're gonna do for this restoration today um, We're just gonna fill in the red the same way we did before with um, a red sharpie here uh, One thing I am kind of considering but I'm not sure yet. I might do the outline of the letters in black um, I've never liked how they were always all white, so I might do that, but I don't know yet because I don't want to screw it up. This will be easy to do since it's already red. I don't know how it's going to come out turning white to black. Um, but another thing we're going to do is I got some tape here. I'm going to tape up the white around the red uh, just because I don't want to get the white part messed up. I didn't do that in the last video uh, because the inside of the letters, it was a home jersey, the inside of the letters were red so it was a lot easier and the outline was black so I didn't have to worry about it. But I'm going to do that real quick so I'm going to tape it up and then we'll go ahead and get started. Alright so we're all taped up and ready to get started. It's, it doesn't have to be perfect, I just kind of threw it on there sloppily, it doesn't really matter. Uh, as long as the white part's covered up around the borders, you could do a free-handed if you want to if you feel comfortable uh i just don't want to risk it so let's go ahead and get started seven six five four three two one you'll never have the sacred stone <laughs> oh this you crazy mother So there is uh, the first coat of the outer border. Uh, I did the whole red and I tried to get, it's kind of hard to tell, maybe you guys can see there, like the threading on the end is like white, uh, which looks really weird, uh, I guess from whoever owned this before washing it so many times or whatever. So I tried to get the marker in there, but it didn't really work too well. I'm not that worried about that, uh, but we did do this and now you can see the difference. I didn't touch this part yet, so you can see... Uh, really the difference on the faded part and then the freshly done part. So let's go ahead and get that uh, I'll probably do another coat and then we'll take off the paint and see how it looks <laughs>
right, so here we are uh, with the finished product, at, at least for the back number. Um, so overall, it looks okay. Uh, it definitely looks better than before, but with this like corner thread pieces and everything uh, sticking out, um, you know, it looks as good as it's gonna get. Uh, definitely looks better than the faded pink that it was before. Now it's more of that um, color that it's supposed to be if you compare that with the side of the jersey right there. Uh, so now I just gotta let this dry so I can flip this over and then do the front. Uh, so let me go ahead and do that and I'll show you guys uh, the finished product at the end of the video. Alright you guys, so here is the finished product. This is the front of the jersey. Uh, I really only needed to do one coat because the front wasn't that bad and also a majority of the red um, is on the stitching side which the paint doesn't really or the marker ink doesn't really get through. It, it's really hard to explain. Like you have... Um, see here you got like this section of the jersey that's painted on and then you got the stitch portion the stitch portion isn't really faded and the ink doesn't get there but then you have this portion and as you can see i screwed up at the like very points of the m uh that's what happens um when you don't have a steady hand and i, I didn't really tape it up because it was it was hard to get in there um but yeah just one coat and that's not that big of a deal to me whatever um so yeah just one coat is all it took um again uh, i wasn't super clean but if you have more of a sturdy hand than i do then you should be fine uh so that's the front again uh matching up to the color that it should be instead of that faded color that it was in the beginning of the video so there's that and then we'll take a quick look at the back one more time Still uh, has to dry up a little bit, still a little wet, but uh, so there it is. There's another Jersey restoration video. You guys have any questions, feel free to let me know down below. Let me know uh, what you guys think of this Jersey, how it came out. Uh, did you like uh, how it came out or should I kept it the way it was when I got it and, and not done this? Let me know your thoughts and opinions down below. And if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Also share this video with your friends. Stay tuned for more. And as always, I will see you guys next time.